Hey guys, it's me, Tikani, and today we are recapping the final episode of Season 3 of Winter House, Episode 9, One Last Ride. We continue on with Malia and Sam arguing. Sam accuses Malia of wanting a relationship with Corey. And Malia's like, I don't want a relationship with Corey. I don't know how I can make that any more clear. And then Malia apologizes and Sam says it's okay. Malia tells Sam that there's stuff that Corey didn't want them to tell her. And when she asks what, Malia's just like, you should ask Corey. Sam is being really vulnerable with Malia and admits that she does love Corey. And maybe being in a situation ship might be a little hard for her. Sam goes to Corey's room, and as Malia's talking to Corey, she tells Corey that, yep, Sam is good, everything's okay. So Amanda and Casey go to check on Sam. Sam wants Corey and her relationship to be serious, and she wants to define it. But she doesn't want to be the one that defines it. Corey then finally goes to check on her. And then Sam tells Corey that Malia said that Corey was telling everyone they were in a situation ship. And Corey just flat out lies to her and said that he never said those words. Sam asks Corey, well, what are we? And he's like, well, I guess we're dating. And they finally define their relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend. Amanda goes to bed early because she's got an early morning flight. Danielle talks to Alex and asks if they can be more than friends, and he says no. And then Alex goes to his bedroom and goes and lays down. Brian and Casey also both go in there, and then Casey pretty much lunges at Brian and kisses him. And then they're just making out on top of poor Alex. Alex gets up out of his bed, and then he goes to Malia's bed and just goes to sleep in there. Casey and Brian move to Brian's room and make out. Katie and Schwartz are making out in Katie's bed. I, I don't know what was in this food, but pretty much everybody's making out with somebody. Except for Alex and Danielle, where Danielle's just upset and Alex is sleeping. It's the next morning and Amanda leaves, and it's everybody else's last night here. Danielle goes to Alex's bed this morning and tries to bang, and he says no again. Meanwhile, in Corey's room, Sam asks Corey what he wanted everyone to avoid telling her. And Corey admits that Casey called her trash. Everyone goes out into the kitchen and Sam announces to the house that she and Corey are finally dating. Danielle pulls Alex from the hallway into a bathroom and they bang it out again. Despite Alex literally saying no earlier. But Alex says he's just a man. So what was he going to do? Say no? It's their last day here. How much worse can it be? Literally after banging Danielle in the bathroom, he goes to Jordan in the kitchen and he's already flirting with her. Everyone goes snowboarding and then afterwards Sam pulls Casey aside to confront her about talking trash. Casey apologizes for spreading gossip and calling Sam trash. And then they hug it out and make up. Schwartz is making drinks for him and Katie and he's gonna take her out on a date in the backyard. So Danielle goes in the backyard and pretty much sets up a cute little table and makes it look super adorable. Which, of course, Schwartz will take credit for. Schwartz and Katie have a little date in the backyard, and Schwartz invites her to L.A. The whole house goes to a bar, and you know Alex is still flirting with Jordan. Jordan decides to pull Alex aside so that they can have a talk. Jordan tells Alex that she feels like they're really close good friends, and she's really glad that they met each other. And then they hug, and Danielle, the steam is just shooting out of her ears. Alex is in the kitchen, and he's feeding Jordan, while Danielle is in Corey's room talking shit about Jordan to Sam. Sam says it's Jordan's job to shut it down, but I really still don't think Jordan has done anything wrong. Like, she's been kind of, like, accepting his flirting and, like, a little bit of flirting back, but she hasn't really done anything. It's not like she's been twerking up on him or, like, licking him or anything, you know? Casey crawled into Katie's bed where Shorts was sleeping, and she straight up just passed out. Well, when Katie joined Schwartz in bed later so that they could, you know, do stuff, Katie climbs over Schwartz and kicks poor Casey in the face. But Casey is so drunk, she's just sound asleep and doesn't notice. So when Katie was like feeling around in the dark, like, what did I just kick? What was that? She realizes it was Casey and she's like, oh my gosh. And then she starts pulling Casey out of the bed to get her to move and go to her bed so that she and so that Katie and Schwartz can, you know, do a little kiss kiss and whatever. <laughs> Alex changes the song and Jordan's going to change it back on her phone. And then Alex wraps his arms around her and Danielle, like no joke, I'm pretty sure she lost it. <laughs> Danielle runs over and pushes them away from each other. And then she just starts yelling at Jordan about how she's an uncool girl and if she was a cool girl she wouldn't be flirting with the guy that's banging her. Alex literally just leaves and runs to his bedroom 
and goes to sleep. And Daniel and Jordan pretty much just yell at each other. And Daniel's like, I'll eat you up. I'll eat you up. And Jordan's like, you keep saying that, but you're all bark. You're all bark. <laughs> and Jordan's like, you keep saying that, but you're all bark. And no bite. All bark. <laughs> Everyone tries to keep Jordan and Daniel away from each other. And Daniel goes to her bed and just sobs herself to sleep. The next morning, Jordan comes upstairs. And Alex apologizes for just kind of leaving her to the wolves last night. And as everyone's packing, Danielle wakes up and she regrets picking a fight with Jordan. Danielle pulls Jordan aside and she's like, why were you looking at him like that? Why were you dancing with him like that? And Jordan's like, I was dancing with him the same way I was dancing with Kyle. The same way I was dancing with Brian. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Danielle then apologizes and they pretty much hug it out, agreeing not to let Alex come between them. And then everybody grabs their stuff and goes home. And that's the end of episode 9 of Winter House Season 3. What did you guys think of this whole season? Are you excited for the reunion? I've already got, like, some notes written down from the reunion because I I wrote... I was just going to uh, recap the reunion, but I was curious about the context, so I had to go write the show. So right now I'm rewriting the reunion video. Because obviously my thoughts have changed a little bit. I still think Alex is super messy. And I think Danielle overreacted considering the fact that they both agreed to be friends with benefits. I can kind of see why Danielle is so mad. Because like Alex literally would not stop flirting with Jordan. But Danielle just kept sleeping with him. You're basically rewarding him for bad behavior. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to like or dislike this video. And I will see you next video. Bye guys!